So after I felt like I had processed the vocal in a nice way using the channel strip, um, I would then, you know, decide if I wanted to add some compression or not. Um, you know, I talk about compression all the time saying, you know, only add it when necessary. Uh, it's easy to ruin a vocal mix by over compressing something and you lose all your transients. You just kind of distort it. So, you know, the good thing about this plugin is you have the control to insert the compressor directly on the plugin right here after you've done your, your EQ processing. Now, usually when I work on compressing vocals, I usually set the ratio at around two, two to one or three to one or somewhere in between just to be able to grab the vocal nicely. And then I'll move over to threshold. Uh, the threshold, I will kind of just get all the way up to negative 20 to see the floor kind of be compressed in the middle so I can find that nice balance in the compressor that I'm looking for. Getting a man and playing all on your phone with me So this can't be all on me When you be all on me, ayy